Today is the last Sunday in the liturgical calendar, and next week we'll begin a new church year with the first Sunday of Advent. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. It's the Feast of Christ the King. You know, kings used to wield a lot of power, but not anymore. Kings and queens are, for the most part, honorific titles that recall a nation's history. They're figureheads more than figures of real authority. As we honor Jesus today as the king of the universe, we remember that he was a king unlike the kings of old, or even the royalty of today. When he was interrogated by Pontius Pilate before being sentenced to death by crucifixion, Jesus said that he had a kingdom, but it was not of this world. It was a spiritual kingdom where he reigns over people's hearts and in doing so leads them on the path to justice and peace and ultimately to heaven. Let's ask him now to reign over us with the following prayer. O Christ Jesus, I acknowledge you, King of the universe. All that has been created has been made for you. Exercise over me all your rights. I renew my baptismal promises, renouncing Satan and all his works and pomps. I promise to live a good Christian life and to do all in my power to procure the triumph of the rights of God and your church. Divine heart of Jesus, I offer you my poor actions in order to obtain that all hearts may acknowledge your sacred royalty and that thus the reign of your peace may be established throughout the universe. Amen.